So good morning, happy festive Friday. Um, we've got, I'm pretty sure we have everybody, but I am, I am gonna hold off on pasting the workout into the chat until we're ready to um, take a look at it. So we'll get started warming up. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to this speaker view for our YouTube friends later. Festive Friday, so I had to wear my festive shirt, lift sweat and be merry. We are lifting today. It might be, you know, feels a little bit more like we're lifting heavy snow shovels and presents under the tree instead of heavy weights like we would like to be, but a little bit of weights is better than no weights at all, right? Um, so let's go ahead and get started. You don't need any special equipment for your warm up. I'm gonna start a clock for myself so I can kind of keep track of us. Um, but we're just gonna go through body weight things. So you are all muted now. Feel free to crank your tunes on your side of things. Um, turn on your watches, start a workout so that you get credit for this business. And let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and step away from the screen. I want you to find your feet right underneath your hips. We're gonna reach down and tap towards your ankles and then take a big step out to the side, tap towards your ankles and then over to the other side. So in today's workout, we're just gonna keep this going back and forth here for about 20 seconds. In the workout, we have star jumps and these would be your no impact option, just these star tap outs. Good. Let's do one more on each side. And then go ahead and come into a forward fold. Just kind of let your head be heavy. Maybe grab onto opposite elbows, sway a little bit here, side to side. Maybe bending one knee, straightening one leg, and then switching that back and forth, trying to kind of work into those hamstrings a little bit more. And then when you're ready, roll it back up to stand. We're gonna come back to those star tap outs. So again, reaching down towards the ankles, tap it out, ankles, tap. We're gonna go back and forth here. Again, for about 20 seconds. The full on star jumps, same thing, but then jump like a star. Tap the ankles, jump like a star. If you wanna try out a few of those, you're welcome to. Good, and then we're coming back to our forward fold. Again, grabbing onto opposite ankles maybe, sway a little bit side to side. Just let your head be heavy, let your arms be heavy. Enjoying that nice little stretch there. And then start rolling your spine back up to stand. Bring your feet back to your squat stance now, so slightly outside of your hips. And we're gonna do some nice easy squats here. Not worry too much about depth or speed. Instead, actively grounding into your feet, both the heel and the ball of your foot. There we go. Good, on your next one, go ahead and hold that bottom position. Maybe grab onto to your toes if you need a little stability. Elbows inside the knees. We're gonna gently rock a little bit here, side to side, working into the ankles. Keeping the chest up, shoulders rolled back. Good, settle back into center and come back to our squats. Just doing a second round here. Maybe this time starting to pick up the, pace, the speed a little bit, the pace a little bit. Think about pulling down, pushing up, starting to get those legs fired up, finding a little more depth in that squat. There it is. Good, and then coming back to that bottom position, Again, elbows inside the knees, keeping the shoulders rolled back, chest up nice and tall. You can settle in kind of into both ankles, trying to drive the knees forward, but keeping the heels down. Good, then grab onto your toes, send those hips high. Again, stretching out the hamstrings a little bit, maybe taking it side to side, and then roll the spine up. Now we're gonna make our way down to the floor. Coming into a strong plank position. So find a strong hand plank position. We're gonna do some push-ups here. So if you need to, drop down to the knees, top to the feet to the floor as well. Roll those shoulders back, here we go. Push-ups. Trying to bring your chest all the way down to the floor, keeping those shoulders rolled back. Elbows right along your sides. Fingers spread wide. Let's do one more and then find that strong hand plank position. We're gonna hold here and breathe. Again, fingers are spread, shoulders rolled back, neck nice and relaxed, looking at the floor just in front of your hands. 
Good. All right, back to our push-ups. This time, see if you can go down on your toes, then drop to your knees if you need to come up. Down on your toes, drop to your knees. If you can do it all on your toes, great. Or if you need to stay on your knees, that's great too. Let's do two more. And then again, lock in that strong plank position. Shoulders roll back, fingers spread wide, belly button pulled up, booty squeezed, quad squeezed, press back through the heels. Remember to breathe. All right, let's roll it on over. We're gonna come down onto our backs now for some bridges. So feet, hip distance apart, close enough to your booty, you can brush the backs of your heels with your fingertips. We're gonna scoop the hips under, pulling up from the bottom of your pelvis up towards the ceiling, gentle squeeze at the top, and then quick tap back down and back to the top. Little squeeze, down and back up, down and back up. There we go, keep that going. Let's do one more. And we're gonna hold at the top, squeeze the booty, keep the hips tucked under, pressing down strong through both the heel and the ball of the foot, both feet. Good, and then back to your bridges, tap it back down, squeeze it up. Tap down, squeeze it up, down and up. Good, 10 more seconds here of these bridges. And we're back to hold that top position. Squeeze the booty, keep the hips high, pressing down through the heels and the balls of your feet. Pull it up, pull it up. You got it, five more seconds, breathe. Squeeze the booty up. All right, go ahead and come on down. Maybe tuck your knees into your chest. Just gently kind of rock there side to side. Maybe forward and back a little bit. We're gonna come back face down, not face down, back to a plank position. Spread those fingers wide. I want you to step one foot forward into a runner's lunge. That foot is flat on the outside of your hands, pressing back through the heel of the opposite foot, that leg that's extended. Maybe getting some gentle rocks here forward and back or taking some nice little ankle circles with that back foot. If you do that, make sure that we're going both directions on those ankle circles. All right, let's find your hands back down on the floor. We're gonna bring this leg back behind us. And then here we go, 20 seconds of narrow mountain climbers, right up the middle, quick, quick, quick with the feet, drive those knees, keep the shoulders rolled back, in that strong plank position. Keep it going, you got it here. 10 more seconds, quick, quick, quick. Good, back and forth, back and forth. All right, let's step that opposite foot forward into a runner's lunge. Outside the hands, that foot is flat. Back leg extended, pressing back through the heel. Maybe some gentle rocking here, forward and back. Same options you took on the other side, so if you did some ankle circles, then let's do that. Taking a few each direction. All right, bring that foot back behind you. We're gonna go another set of narrow mountain climbers here. Ready, let's go. Grounding down strong through your hands. Try to keep that neck relaxed, looking at the floor just in front of your hands. Shoulders rolled back. Drive the knees, quick, 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 back and forth. Come on, come on. All right, let's go ahead and flip it back over. Coming back to a seated position and then all the way down onto your back. We're gonna do a line toe touch. So I want you to kick your heels straight up towards the ceiling. Bring your shoulder blades a little bit off the ground. We're gonna reach opposite hand to opposite toe. Back and forth, side to side for 20 seconds here. Yes, keep it going, couple more. 
All right, I want you to come into a dead bug hold. So now drop those legs into a 90 degree angle, flex the feet, arms straight up towards the ceiling, 90 degrees at the hip, at the knees, and at the ankles. Relax the head, relax the shoulders, keep the belly button pinned down, and breathe. Good, keep holding. All right, we're gonna do a second set. You could do those line toe touches, or you could come into the crab toe touches, which we have in our workout. So palms down towards the ground, fingers ideally pointing back towards your feet, roll those shoulders back. We're gonna lift off into that crab position and reach opposite hand to toe, back down, switch. Okay, so this is the crab toe touches. We have these in our workout today, or stick with the line toe touches. We're gonna go for about another 10 seconds, back and forth. Yes, good. Last five. All right, take a seat. Come back to that dead bug hold, or we're going to do a boat pose hold. So sitting up nice and tall, roll those shoulders back, float the feet. If you can, release the hands, extend the legs. If you can do that or keep them bent, we're going to breathe here. Good. Ten more seconds. Chest up, shoulders back, and there it is. How do we feel? A little warmed up? Okay, we have a really fun workout today. As I said, it's festive Friday. We're feeling festive around here. So our workout, which I'm gonna paste into the chat for you now, is the 12 days of Christmas. So the workout format, we have 12 different exercises. Um, you're gonna do the number of reps corresponding to the number. So one is one rep, two is two reps, three is three reps and so on. And the format follows the song, the 12 days of Christmas. So on the first day of Christmas, you do one woman maker. On the second day of Christmas, you do two box jumps, then one woman maker. Third day of Christmas, three bent over rows, two box jumps, one woman maker. Okay, so we keep adding on and you're always counting down in numbers. So it's kind of confusing. It goes pretty quick, like these first couple rounds. Um, but once you start getting into seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so that's kind of how the workout flows. It's going to be about 20 minutes overall of work. Um, it's quite the laundry list of movements to get through. And I mentioned this in the last class. I really do not understand the term laundry list. Like what, what is that? Why is that like a list of things? I understand grocery list, to-do list, laundry. I've never understood that. Um, but in any case, we have, let's call it a Christmas wish list of things to get through, okay? Let's go through a few of these movements, especially since I know a couple of you maybe haven't worked out with us on here, um, or it's been a while since you have. So the very first one is woman makers, and this is probably the most complex one. It's a compound movement. It's a lot of things put together. Ideally, you're going to be working with a pair of dumbbells, so I want you to step away from your screen and go through this with me, um, either with your dumbbells or without them. Just imagine Imagine that you have a pair of dumbbells, okay? So it starts, it's basically a burpee with dumbbells. So it starts hands down, feet back, go ahead and do it with me. At the bottom, you're going to do a good push up, drop to your knees if you need to, and then one row on one side, row on the other side. You're going to hop the feet forward, make sure you land flat footed, grab your dumbbells, it's a squat clean, thruster overhead, okay? Let's do that one more time. Hands down, feet back, push up, row, row, feet forward, squat clean, thruster, okay? That's your woman maker. All right, does that make sense for everybody? If you do not have a pair of dumbbells, I would suggest doing these without weight, just like I did, okay? Um, so just kind of imagine that you have weights there, but just do them without. Um, your two is box jump. So if you've got something to jump on, whether that's a box, a bench, um, an ottoman, a coffee table, a stool, um, a set of stairs. If you're near a set of stairs, you could jump up like two or three stairs maybe, then do that. If you don't, if you have something that's semi-sturdy to support your body weight, but you don't want to jump onto it, then you could do step ups instead, full foot, back down, switch sides or you're gonna do squats with a glute squeeze. So squat down, and then at the top, kick the heel back, squeeze the booty, 
squat, other side, kick the heel back, squeeze the booty. Okay, so that would be your substitute. Number three is a bent over row. So now you're back to your dumbbells, shoulders rolled back, hinged at 45 degrees, drive the elbows up towards the ceiling like so. Make sure we maintain that neutral spine so we don't want to be sloppy here, rounded and pulling like this. Keep it nice and tight, belly is tight. Number four is your star jumps. We did these in the warm up, right? Tap the ankles, you're a star, or tap the ankles, tap it out, okay? Five, narrow mountain climbers. Again, like we did in the warm up, find that strong plank position, quick, 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 back and forth with the knees. Five per side on that count. Six is gonna be your bridges that we did in the warm up, okay? So squeeze the booty up at the top. Seven is V ups, ideally long arms, long legs here fully extended, coming up into a V, right? If you need to, tuck the knees in, so you're pulling them in towards your shoulders. This is more of a V ab. You can plant your feet, make it regular sit-ups instead, or do the dead bugs, like so. Drop both legs down, bring them back up, drop it down, bring it back up. Okay, so that would be the least impactful option. Number eight is gonna be lunges with your dumbbells. It's eight per side. You can hold them down by your sides, up at your shoulders in the front rack position, or super challenge option to go overhead, especially if you're working with lighter weight or maybe if you have a weighted plate or a medicine ball that you're using instead, okay? Um, regular lunges, we know those, 90 degrees in your legs. Try to kiss the back knee down to the floor. Number nine, ground to overhead. So again, ideally with a pair of dumbbells, but a plate or a med ball work great. Tap it down, drive it up, using the power of your hips up overhead. Once you do nine, then you've got your dumbbells ready to go right into your eight lunges, okay? Um, number 10 is gonna be 10 oblique twists. So now we're working just with one dumbbell in that nice tall boat position if you can or drop the heels if you need to. It's a big twist side to side. So I'm twisting from the torso over to the other side, back and forth, 10 per side. Number 11 is the crab toe touches like we did in the warm up, alternating back and forth, or take the line toe touches if you need to instead. And then number 12, you're gonna try this one out with me. This is deck squats. So these are really fun. We're gonna deck the halls. Um, so it's a squat, or it's a sit up into a squat, okay? So this is actually one where a little bit of momentum is gonna help you, and maybe a little bit of counterweight, counterbalance, actually makes it a little easier. So I've got a dumbbell here. You can watch me first. I'm gonna sit down into my squat all the way to the floor, kick my feet up overhead, feet back to the floor, stand, okay? If you wanna make it really spicy, you can add a tuck jump to the top, like so, okay? So I want you to try those out now. And if you feel like, what the hell are you trying to make me do? Um, one option, you could grab even like a couch cushion to put down, just that teeny bit of height helps a little bit. So you would be doing it like so, squat down, kick up, back to your squat and stand, okay? And if you're still like, uh, no, I'm not doing those. Um, your option instead is gonna be pulse squats. So you're gonna do one and a quarter squats, basically. One quarter, one up, okay? Down, pulse, down, two. Down, pulse, down, three, okay? So if those deck squats are really not having it today, then you'll do those pulse squats instead. Now, hit me with your questions. I know that was a lot of stuff. What do we think? Everybody looking wide-eyed? No, we're ready for it. Great, okay. You've got about, it's gonna be about 20 minutes of work. That's kind of what um, the last class took. So grab your weights. I'm gonna reset my clock here so that we can all start together. And we'll start with one woman maker. Let me give you a little countdown. We're ready, give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Yes, yes, yes. Great. Okie dokie. So starting with one woman maker in three, two, one. Let's go with your dumbbell, hands down, feet back. Push up, row, row, squat clean, and thruster. 
Good, all right, set it down. Now you're on to two box jumps or what other variation you're doing. Two box jumps and then back to one woman maker. Beautiful, yes. Now we're up to three bent over rows. Set your weights down, two box jumps. And one woman maker. Good, then you're up to four. Four star jumps, three bent over rows, Yes, nice work, friends. Yes, awesome job. Good, finish it out with that woman maker. If you're up to five, it's five narrow mountain climbers. Five per side, remember. Back to your four star jumps. Tap the ankles, you're a star. Three bent over rows. Roll those shoulders back. Two box jumps. And your one woman maker. And then we're up to six, six bridges. Down on the floor. Good, regular two-footed bridge. If you wanna do single leg bridges, do three on each side. Feel free to take that option. Nice job, friends. Looking strong. Yes, good work, good work. Good, always ending the round with that one woman maker. Nice, yes, awesome. All right, after your bridges, if you're up to seven, it's seven V-ups or V-abs or sit-ups. Choose your option appropriately there. Nice job. Good, Ashley, on those bent over rows, you don't have to alternate. You could do both at the same time if you want. Good job, Kel. Yes, nice job, Kirsten. Star jumps and you're onto your bent over row. Two box jumps, one woman maker. Nice, sit. That's it. Good job, Anna. Yes, everybody working hard. I love it. Yes, way to work. Making it happen. Nice job.
All right, after you finish this woman maker, then you're on to eight, your eight lunges with your dumbbells, remember at your sides or up at your shoulders. Either way, nice step back lunge, kissing that back knee down, it's eight per side. Yes, good. All right, after the lunges, we're down to our seven, right? Seven V-ups. Six bridges. Flip it over for your five narrow mountain climbers. And your star jumps. Good, grab your dumbbells for your bent over rows. Two box jumps. And that woman maker, can't forget her. Then if you're up to nine, it's ground to overhead for your nine. Strong work, friends. Yes, looking good. Good, maybe small sips of water if you need to. Good job, Cal. Working on those ground to overhead. That's it. You'll go right into your lunges from there, right? Nice, smooth transition. Good, yes, Mercedes onto her lunges. Eight per side here. So she's got them in the front rack position. Looks like most of you are taking that option. Remember, you also have the option to hold them down by your sides. As Sid's doing, perfect. Great job there. Or super challenge option would be to go overhead. Probably more applicable if you have a little bit lighter weight or if you have one weight, like a plate or a med ball that you're doing this workout with. Yes, awesome job. Good, get through those lunges and you're back to the floor for your V-ups. Seven V-ups, six bridges, five narrow mountain climbers, all on the floor. Awesome job, yes, friends. Looking strong here. Good, then your four star jumps. When you're ready to come up, tap the ankles. You're a star. Good, three bent over rows, two box jumps. Yes, great work. Who's feeling merry? If this doesn't get you in the Christmas spirit, I don't know what will. Nice work. Good, knock out those box jumps. You're one woman maker to finish the round. And then I see that several of you are already up to 10. 10 is gonna be oblique twist. So you're gonna start on the floor. Right, finding that nice tall seated position in a boat pose, like so, or grounding the heels down. Either way, it's a big twist, side to side. We're going 10 per side here. Trying to twist from the torso, get that big rotation. 
keeping my shoulders rolled back. Beautiful posture otherwise. Trying to keep my legs active. So in this L position, I'm pressing through my heels. In the boat pose position, maybe I'm pointing my toes or flexing my feet either way, but choosing one and sticking with it to bring some intention there. Good, after your oblique twist, you're down to nine. Nine ground overhead, you've been here before. You know how these go. Ideally working with two dumbbells, drop it down to one dumbbell if you need to. Try to use the power of your hips for this movement. And then after nine, we're right into those lunges. Eight per side on our lunges. Keeping a hold of the dumbbells, this front rack position, down by your sides if you need to. Remember to breathe. There it is. Mostly a reminder to myself. Don't hold my breath. We got it, friends. Come on. Good, after eight per leg, set them down. Back to the floor for our V-ups. V-ups, V-abs, sit-ups, or this dead bug action with the double leg drop. Keeping that low back seal to the floor, belly button to spine, breathing. After seven, stay here, ground the feet down for your six bridges. Scoop the hips under, hollow out that belly, belly button to spine as you pull the hips up from the bottom of your pelvis. Good, after six, flip it over onto the narrow mountain climbers, five per side. Spread those fingers wide, find that strong plank position back and forth. Quick five there, then we're star jumping. Tap the ankles. Yes, good. Grab your dumbbells, three bent over rows. Come on, we're getting there. Two box jumps. And our one woman maker. God love her. After this woman maker, if you're up to 11, it's crab toe touches, 11 per side. You remember these from the warm up. Fingers ideally pointing back towards your toes, shoulders rolled back, lift the hips off, alternating side to side, reach for that toe. Yes, good. Seeing some great options there. Or on your back, shoulder blades off, heels up towards the ceiling. Reach, 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 back and forth. Either way, it's 11 per side. Let's see what we got going on here. Bunch of hardworking ladies, that's what I see. Yes, great job. Good, keep chipping away at this list. Nice, Ashley. Great job there. Good, maintaining life, lots of control. You're gonna get a lot more benefit out of it that way. Good job, Ash. Way to work, friends. Keep it up. Good job, Kirsten. Those V-abs are beautiful. Yes, Anna. Come on. Let's push it, friends. Good job, Betty.
Nice, Sid. Yes. Good, Heidi, those lunges looking strong. Good work. Yes, nice job, Aaron. Atta girl, push those legs, power through those lunges. All right, I can see several of you getting close to that final round. Nice job, Kirsten. She's working on those deck squats. Yeah, way to go. Yes, friends, finish out this round. Get to that last woman maker and then we're going one more round. This is our final round. We'll start with the 12 deck squats. Beautiful. All right, start it out when you're ready. 12 deck squats. I like to do these holding on to a little bit of weight. Kick the feet up. Little tuck jump at the top if you want to add some spice to it. There it is. Yes, good. Great job. Remember, if those deck squats are a no-go for you, we're doing the pulse squats. Down, quarter, down, up. Down, pulse, up. Yes, good. Fire up those legs. Nice work. Good job, Natalie. You don't have to take that weight overhead. You can just keep it at your chest when you come up. There it is. Yeah, good. All right, great job, Ashley. We're having some fun with these deck squats. I love it. Only one time doing the deck squats, right? Just 12 of them. And then move it on down the list. 11 crab toe touches or line toe touches, either way, your choice. Yeah, good, Sid. Nice job, quick, 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 back and forth, keeping those shoulder blades off the ground. That's beautiful, awesome job. Way to go, friends, yes. After the toe touches and you're on your oblique twists, 10 per side. Nice job, come on, friends. We're getting close, last round through. Just kind of keep this pace going, nice and steady, chipping away. You know the exercises that you can do a little bit faster, the ones that are gonna slow you down anyway. <clears throat> Lunges. Yeah, good. Great job. Keep with it, come on. Nice job, Lisa taking the overhead option on those lunges, working with a plate. Yes, good job, Lise. All right, let's go, friends. We just passed that 20 minute mark and I know most of you are so, so close to being done here. 
I told you it'd be about 20 minutes. Good, I see a couple of you finishing up. Good, most of you in the, the last set of reps here. Great job. So if you are done, maybe grab, bring your hands to the top of your head or to your hips, kind of walk it out just a little bit. Those of you that are still working, keep on working. You got this, you're almost done. We're all gonna finish at a little bit different times here. So I'm just gonna start going over um, your cool down option so that you can take it when you're ready. All right, so we're gonna cool it down with a few um, inchworms. So it's kind of right in place, right on your mat, similar to what we were doing with the woman makers, but without the darn weights. So coming back, let your head hang heavy here in your forward fold. When you're ready, start walking it out. Take it straight into up dog. I like to do this in a more relaxed position with the tops of the thighs on the floor. Fingers spread wide, using an inhale to take my chin up towards the ceiling. And an exhale to tuck the chin down towards the chest, kind of round through the back of the neck. Enjoy a nice stretch there. Maybe take it a little bit side to side. Inhale, take it up. And exhale, take it down. Then tuck the toes under, find your down dog, spend a little bit of time here, maybe walking the dog, pedaling out those feet left and right, back and forth. You could even do both at the same time, coming up onto the tippy toes and then dropping your heels down. Kind of stretching through the calves, the backs of the hamstrings. I would suggest adding on a little runner's lunge to this inchworm. So stepping one foot forward, just like we did in the warm up, maybe some gentle rocks forward and back. Maybe finding some stillness now, post-workout. Muscles are nice and warm. Start trying to bring your heart rate down. I know a lot of us have trouble being still, especially this time of year when there's so much to do. Busy, 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 running all over the place. You know, maybe commit to the next five minutes or so just being still for you. Coming back to your breath, using your inhales to, to create some space in those muscles and your exhales to relax into that space. When you're ready, step that foot back behind you. Again, you can pedal out your feet here to kind of reset in that down dog before you step the other foot forward into your runner's lunge. Again, maybe rocking a little bit, maybe finding that same stillness here, trying to breathe into those tight muscles, those muscles that work so hard for you. And when you're ready, you'll finish out this inchworm, bringing that foot back behind you. Again, pedaling the calves if that feels good. And then walking your feet up to your hands to come back to your forward fold. Let the head hang heavy. Roll it up to stand. I want you to take maybe about three to five inchworms. And again, kind of adding on where you need to to make it what you need. One other option here would be to kind of go through that same flow, same up dog, same down dog. But this time, instead of finding a runner's lunge, finding more of that tall lunge position. So finding more 90 degrees in both legs here, actively tucking your glutes underneath you, sort of squeezing your butt as hard as you can, getting lots of length through that back leg, and then breathing here. Again, coming back to that stillness. You might feel this stretch a little bit more in your quad rather than the hip flexor. Again, using that breath. After about 30 seconds or so, or maybe three or four breaths, once you kind of feel it start to relax, start to open up, then you can add on, maybe shift your hips slightly forward and take that arm, reach it up overhead. So now you're adding on some length through the side body, a little extra length through the hip flexors as well. And coming back to your breath, try to breathe there. So that might be another option to add on to your inchworm. Keeping the shoulders rolled back, the ribs tucked down, glutes squeezed, reach around, touch it, make sure it's squeezed. Breathe into it. Good, so if you took that option on that side, gotta even it out, take the same thing on the other side as well. 
squeeze in that glute hard as you can. Ribs stay tucked down. Shift the hips slightly forward. And then come back to your breath. Great job today. Looks like everybody's finished up now. On to this cool down. Working your way through about three to five inchworms. Adding on some different stretches if that feels good to you. If you're hanging out in this tall lunge position, then keep hanging there. I don't want to rush you at all. Remember that you have the option to take that reach up overhead. A couple other options that might feel good for you here is just to sit the hips back, keeping that front foot flat, or rocking up onto the heel, pulling the toes back towards you. To get a little bit more of a hamstring stretch into your calves as well. And then one of my very favorite ones is from that lunge position, taking that front leg out to the side, toes stay pointed forward. We're gonna get a nice stretch through the adductors, so sitting the heels, the hips back onto the heels, and then rocking it forward, sitting it back. I just really love this stretch. Of course, pigeon always a great option too, if you like that. Let's see how we're doing here. Good, it's only about 7.17, so um, about, it is precisely 7.17. Uh, so if you wanna hang on here for as long as you like to, you're welcome to, to continue cooling down and stretching. That's all that I had planned for you today. Very festive indeed, right? I hope that that brought you all some Christmas spirit. You can go eat maple syrup and candy cane spaghetti and feel like you're fully prepared for Christmas. Have a great weekend. We do have a workout, a live stream at 9 a.m. tomorrow if you wanna jump on with that and that recording will be available later. Um, and of course, Sunday evening yoga with Allie as well, kind of a recovery, more of a lower key yoga session, which is nice to wind down the weekend, head into the week. So thank you for being here. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week for sure. I'll be on. Bye friends. Bye, thanks Jessa. Yeah, thank you.